This is the countdown to the Shiv Sena National Executive Meet that will take place at 1 p.m. in about uh, 15 minutes from now. Information that's coming in indicates that Uddhav Thakre, his uh, faction of the Shiv Sena, or at least uh, the MLAs with him and the party rank and file, they are very clear they want hard action against the rebel Shinde Sena. Not just against Iknat Shinde, but also against other, other MLAs and those who may remain in Maharashtra but are loyal to the Iknat Shinde Sena. We are also being told that senior Shiv Sena Neta Ramdas Kadam may be axed. Uddhav Thakre is all set to hold that national executive. Sources are telling India today Uddhav Thakre is likely to remove Iknat Shinde as the party leader. Sources also say Uddhav is expected to discuss action against all other rebel MLAs who are in Gohati. India today's Mustafa Sheikh now joins me for more on the story. Mustafa, we were told that Uddhav Thakre uh, was emotionally broken, but he's being advised, and not just by Sharad Pawar of the NCP, he's being advised to take a hard line on the rebels and supporters of rebels. What more can you tell us? Well, yes, Gaurav, it's not only the Mahavikas Aghadi government of Uddhav Thakre which is under crisis, but the ships and the party itself, it's almost bro broken apart and hence Uddhav Thakre has to, you know, activate the Shiv Senics at ward levels and also save his government. So it, he is in a action mode, if you can see, since yesterday Uddhav Thakre has held many public meetings. Yesterday, twice, he and Aditya Thakre had addressed uh, Shiv Sena Kedar and now the national executive meeting in which some harsh decisions are expected to be taken against those Shiv Senics, for example, who are in the working committee and whose dear and near ones have left for Guwahati. For example, Ramdas Kadam is in the working committee. His son, Shiv Sena MLA Yogesh Kadam, is in Guwahati with the Ekna Chinde camp. He is likely to be expelled from the working committee. So many such decisions are to be taken. There are, we are hearing Sabhas, which Aditya Thakur is going to address in Mumbai at various parts and also uh, the ransacking of offices and homes of MLAs who have left, be it in Mumbai, be it in Pune. So the Shiv Sena is in action mode. They don't know what will happen next, whether the MLAs, if disqualified, will move to court, whether the deputy speaker will be called in for a no-trust vote and there will be no speaker in the mass assembly. So these are things on uh, Uddhav Thakre, which he is facing as a challenge and he is trying to tackle it one by one. We'll have to wait and see. What the Ekna Chinde camp does, that will be very crucial. We are hearing they are going to address a press conference, whether they come back to Mumbai, whether they stake claim to form the government or say that the government is minority. Everything is now restive on that Ekna Chinde camp. Back to you. All right, but is Ramdas Kadam actually being punished for his son Yogesh Kadam's actions? Because Yogesh Kadam is one of the rebels, whether it's the number is 38 or 39, there's no clarity just as yet. Uh, is, is Ramdas Kadam being punished for his son's actions? Well, Ramdas Kadam has been sidelined the Shiv Sena long ago. There was some controversy which had erupted and his phone call was recorded by one of the eminence workers in which he was happy because Anil Parab, who is close head of Uddhav Thakre, action was taken against Anil Parab bungalow in Dapoli in the area of Maharashtra. So uh, there was some uh, allegation against him that he was trying to, you know, after being sidelined after 2019, he was, you know, trying uh, to get back his position and trying to target people who are close to Uddhav Thakre. So that was one thing. His son remained in Shiv Sena, but now as he has gone to Guwahati, then there is more spotlight on Randav's Kadam, his action and his loyalty towards Shiv Sena. Back to you. Okay, stay with me. I also want to cut across to Vidya uh, joining us uh, from the Shiv Sena Bhavan for more on the stories. Vidya, on what lines is the Shiv Sena now moving forward? Because you've been speaking to a cross-section of leaders right from the top down to the Zilla Pramukhs and the Shaka Pramukhs. What direction is the Shiv Sena moving in now? 
Well, the direction really remains the same uh, that has been chosen in the last couple of days, which basically means that all those who have rebelled will not be really, uh, you know, uh, persuaded by emotions any further. If they really want to return, they will, or else they will also try to, the Shiv Sainik here in Mumbai will also try to see to it that there is a pressure that is built up to make sure that those, those pleadings that we had seen on the first day, that does not happen any further. That's one thing which is very clear. The Shiv Sainik have decided that they will try to put a pressure on, uh, you know, uh, these people. Right here, a lot of people are still going inside. A lot of uh, these political leaders are still going on inside for the executive meet. Uh, uh, most of the senior leaders like Sanjay Raut, uh, Vinayak uh, Raut, all these people have actually reached here. Uh, sir, sir, can I, can I, sir, can I speak to you, sir? Oh, Most of the political leaders going inside are actually refusing to speak uh, as to what will be decided. But there are one thing that is clear is that whatever Uddhav Thakre has decided will be the way that will be shown to the people. The executive meet will decide the you know, the next couple of days as to what more they can do to pressurize the MLAs to come back. Uh, that's among one of the decisions, of course, and apart from that, the, the ways that the pressure can really be put, uh, built up. Last, yesterday we have seen how, you know, the, uh, the Shiv Sainiks on the ground have gone and, uh, uh, you know, beat the posters, beat the offices of the Shiv Sena leaders, or uh, the MLAs who have gone, they have been ransacked. So all that is being done apart from that more more legal issues that can be picked up so all these things are going to be discussed right here Pressure and tactics, then a formal intimidation decision tactics. As, uh, for okay